Good day everyone, you're watching Raytube. On today's video, I'm going to walk you through a quick step on fixing um, the additional drive what you would see uh, after installing a Windows Spring Update 1803 on your Windows 10 machine. Now, usually after the update, uh, what you would see is, um, uh, for example, if, uh, if you see an uh, partition, uh, a X drive or a G drive, you would get an error message or you would get a prompt saying that partition X is full. It's 450 uh, MB with 450 MB in use. Now this is um, this would real uh, this, though you don't have an additional drive connected on your computer, you would see that additional drive. Now there's no point in keeping this drive or get, uh, keep getting a prompt every time on your Windows 10 machine. So there's an easiest way to fix this problem uh, by removing this uh, particular uh, drive from your computer. So the first thing what you will have to do is you will have to open command prompt by pressing Windows and R key on your keyboard it will open up a run window if you're not uh, able to do so you can in the search bar you can go ahead and type cmd and uh, this will open up the run command once you have the run command you will have to go ahead and type disk part uh, now this is nothing but this will open up the disk partition on your computer once you hit enter you might get a user access control prompt uh, if you have a user access control prompt turned on your computer you may click on yes now once um, now this will open up the disk partition um, executable on your computer now once you open disk part uh, this is how you would see and now in order to show all the volumes or all the drives connected to the computer you will have to hit the command which says list volume now this will uh, show up all the volumes which are there on your computer. In my case, uh, uh, I have uh, D drive and which is my DVD drive, and it, and C drive which is my um, local drive. Now um, in your case, um, in in case uh, this is how it would look like, uh, which says uh, D drive which is a DVD drive sees your Windows and F is the local drive. For example, after the update, you might get a message saying that. F, you would see a uh, partition or a volume which listed as F. So all you have to do is um, once uh, you will have to click on type the command which says select X, hit enter and since I don't have X drive and, and the next command you will have to type remove X. Now the, once you run this command you should be able to re you will have to go ahead and restart your computer once you restart your computer you would you should not be able to see the additional drive which is listed on the computer now the reason why i'm getting this error message i don't have the additional drive listed but this is how you would ideally fix the problem i hope you like this video in case if you like this video please make sure you hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day